Hello, I'm Susan Nash, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about needs assessments in Credit for Prior Learning. So one of the things that we think about when we think about needs is we think, okay, yeah, the student needs credit. True. <laughs> but what we often don't look at is for trying to grow the program and get more portfolios and get more internships, more uh, work experience, et cetera, that will, that will definitely build into potential assessment. Um, we often overlook what does that company or organization that we want to partner with need? And those things change. So it really makes sense to talk to people often and try to, to get an alignment of, in terms of what the organization needs with, say, potentially what well, um, in, potential interns or potential um, student workers or or um, volunteers could do. And also, one of the things that's really critical is that paid internships or paid work for hire actually can be a lot more respected than volunteership, even though we often talk about how, oh, it's wonderful to be a volunteer. It's true, but it's not taken with the same level of, of seriousness as something that's a contract. So for example, if you, if someone is, um, for example, looking at a job and it, or a, a degree in leadership, administrative leadership, perhaps wanted some help in organizing an event could be count and the, and the, um, or helping with marketing and publicity for an event. Uh, but some of that behind the scenes work that's really needed in terms of meeting, planning, marketing, logistics, et cetera, could be very helpful. Anyway, those are some things to keep in mind. Think about the organization that you're trying to reach out to the company and what their needs are now and what they think their needs will be in six months or a year.